as details of a deadly new virus emerged in China. Local journalists took to social media to report on it. In response, Beijing jailed them. Similar crackdowns on coverage contributed to a record 274 journalists in jail globally in 2020, data by the Committee to Protect Journalists shows. It is the worst year on record for imprisonments, 274, because of primarily two reasons. One is the reaction to the global health pandemic, which has been met by the increased use of false news charges or fake news charges against journalists in retaliation for their independent reporting and by a crackdown related to protests. The pandemic adds urgency to the calls for justice for those detained. At least two died of COVID-19 in custody, and the family of a third, Kyrgyz journalist Azim John Azkarov, believe he also died from the virus. In a global health pandemic like COVID-19, a prison sentence for journalism could amount to a death sentence for journalism because you can't socially distance. They don't have access to personal protective equipment. And of course, you know, prisons are vectors of infection. The committee's data acts as a snapshot of journalists in jail on December 1st. But many more were detained, then freed in 2020. In the US, more than 117 were briefly detained or arrested covering protests over racial injustice or related to the presidential election. Several still face charges. Protests have always been an incredibly dangerous place for journalists uh, compared to other beats. And uh, w really, it began uh, when George Floyd died May 25th in Minneapolis, Minnesota. By May 26th, we saw our first assault of a journalist covering national protests. And um, by May 29th, the first arrest of a journalist. From In all of 2020, we've documented 117 journalists arrested or detained. Protests in Belarus led to an uptick in arrests, with 10 detained since the contested re-election of President Alexander Lukashenko. In Ethiopia, which more recently had shown signs of a more promising press freedom record, several were detained over coverage of unrest in the Tigray region. Does Belarus and Ethiopia really want to join China, Turkey, Egypt, Saudi Arabia on the list of countries that imprison journalists in retaliation for their work? I would certainly hope not. In a year when access to independent news is more important than ever, the record number of journalists detained for their reporting is a concerning trend. Jessica Jarit, VOA News.